Mike Durham is a retired public school art teacher. He's learned to bring life back into old scrap metal and things you find lying around that can be best described as whatnots. 99% of it is stuff that is, is all scrap that's either headed to the recycle center or uh, they're, I've been in it long enough now to where it's not unusual for me to come back home after going to lunch and find a pile of metal that somebody's dropped off because they know I could use it for something. Old bicycles, and motorcycle tanks. For Mike, his artistic challenge is in the design. The building of his metal sculptures becomes almost second nature. A lot of farm equipment, a lot of old car parts. Uh, just, yeah, those are bodies at some point in time up there. My favorite part about it is trying to figure out uh, what to put together to make something. As far as, you know, the actual putting it together, it's, it's okay. It's, it's mindless in a way, but uh, the, the figuring, the engineering part of it is, is the part I really enjoy. You're in another zone. You know, you'll, you'll be working on stuff and not realize it's two hours past supper time it's because, you know, you're getting into it. But, uh, you know, the rest of the world just kind of disappears. Mike's work looks easy. It looks obvious. Just basically an old Electrolux vacuum cleaner with uh, a strainer, I guess that's what you call it. And these are little uh, shovels from a uh, little garden tool, children's garden tool. These are the spigots in your shower. Is this a mouse? Yeah, it's going to be a mouse, yeah. But looks are deceiving. You obviously aren't a traditional thinker. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. I mean, is it okay to say, wow, that's a little offbeat? Yeah, well, that's great. You like that? Oh, yeah, oh, that's super, yeah. When people see my work, they look at it and say, oh, that, you know, that can do that. It wouldn't take, you know, just, you know, you could probably do that in a day. And, I, you know, I've probably spent four months on this piece just, you know, working it. And usually all that thing kind of percolate. I'll, I'll get things going. I'll try something new. I don't. I'm not. I don't like the size of this. And then I go back and change. I, I change things 50 times before I actually finally put it together. How hard do you bite your tongue when someone said, "Oh, you just did that over the weekend"? You know, that's the ego. That's, an, it, e that's an ego hit, right? That there. is an ego hit. But you know, and say, but again, I think most of the people who buy my stuff do understand it does take longer than what it what it should, what you think it would anyway. Mm -hmm. This is a rake. Mm -hmm. A car rim, yes. sheet metal, mm -hmm. rebar. Right. I don't even know what that is. You don't know what this is? Is it off of a record player? Yeah, it's an old Victrola. Uh, in fact, that's, that was the beginning of this piece. Uh, somebody gave me that piece. It was in bad shape, but uh, that's the thing that inspired me, that. And, and I have some morning glories going on the other side of the building, and I thought, this looks just like it. And then from there, I, I, I had some pieces that, well, the top is off of a MG uh, air filter cleaner and it looked like a head, and then from there I just added the uh, Freon tank. Mike says his metal sculptures are meant to be enjoyed. Many people buy them to enhance their gardens or their lawns, and Mike says men and women can look at his individual works of art and see completely different things. Everybody can associate with it. The guys come up and look at the, the pieces and go, uh, that's off of Harley Davidson. Uh, the, the wives come up and go, oh, isn't it cute? <laughs> Of course, a lot of guys go, oh, I used to have that, and uh, boy, I wish I kept those things. I could have done that, and I say, well, go do it. It's that doing it that makes all the difference. And that is turning potential junk into treasure. This is how Mike Durham spends his retirement. 